And now, for a few words, from Anthony Estella in Gotham, New York. Arkham! No, goody. No, more, not more goody. Pearl, more pearls of wisdom. When I tell someone to stay backstage, they should be staying backstage. Again, if he's not listening to you, Chaz, he's doing the right thing. Yeah, because he hasn't won a match. Jen, since you're the man God wants to be, and since you ripped me a new a-hole last week, you got me thinking. Oh, God. After Mr. Psycho, who's not here right now, Thank God, that wasn't done. And after I've lost to Buck to Ross, <laughs> I beat Buck to Ross. God damn it, I beat him. The rest of the show, and I noticed something. Reyes, our current pure champ. Yeah, cheer for him. That's good. Probably because he got green card. Yeah. Gave a title opportunity to Serena. Or Selena or whatever her name is? So many girls that forget their names. Grace, if you're gonna give a title shot to someone who deserves it, I deserve it. I've beaten so many people and I've gotten so many chances to prove it. So, come out here so I can prove that I'm the best pure champion that hasn't gotten the belt yet. Come on, Reyes, I'm sick of this crap. Well, I gotta say something here. You do not, you do not, and I'm gonna say it one more time, you do not call out this man, the know, Puerto Rican, the Puerto Rican champion, one of the fightingest champions, the re-innovator of the Pure Division, Andreas Reyes. Are you done putting him over? Are you done, you know, getting all I'm done to, uh, seeing the accolades of Can a I man. Can I put in my quota for the racial slurs tonight? No, He's too busy selling oranges Shut up, he's speaking. The man that claims that he is deserving of a pure title chance. More deserving than I am, as he claims. You know what? You remind me of me when I was younger. I was arrogant. I was green. Was? But the difference between me and you is that I didn't fail so much. Ooh. You failed so bad last week that you had Chad Epic pop up on the announcer's table to bullshit you out of the ring. That takes a hell of a lot to do. Cause I never got that done. I've never seen anybody get that done. So He has a point, sadly. I'm feeling pretty generous. You know what, I don't feel like I should stand up for this guy. He is more than me sitting down as I talk to him. Tonight, I'll do what I did to Serena last week. My offer a shot. You win, you get a shot at Hellbound. How about that? Huh? Oh. Sounds good? He says, come on, let's get this done. Let's get this over here. Come on. All right. Well, our pure champion showing why he deserves that belt. Will to take on. Well, let's just point out something. Um, oh, God. Here we go. This is actually under now the new division of the pure title rules. States this is for the number one contendership. If you can pin Andreas or make him tap, then he'll have a match for the pure title Hellbound. Well, we They're just had the customary handshake, the tie-up tie check up. by the ref, and good God, headlock takedown. I'll tell you this right now. The thing is, though, you won't see me get up from the table. The pure title rules state no managers can enter anywhere around the ring. No managers or valets can go anywhere. And this is, though it's not for the title, is under pure jurisdiction. Right. So that means I cannot step up. If I was to step up to the ring apron, Probably Arkham would get disqualified. Oh, I wait, teach him a thing or oh, two. Hang on a second. Could you do it, please? Get I'm this little punk out of here. However, the this other the other, learn. the other parts of the pure division, big shoulder by Andreas. The other thing is is that the count outs cannot be broken up. And my personal favorite, there are tap no or snap. tap or snap. There are no rope breaks. You get locked in. You get oh, pinned. Those ropes are not a safety net. Clothesline by the Barica Brawler here. And another one goes for the now, hat trick. Mr. Andreas, pure to Rican champion, thinks he's so pure. Yeah, he goes around Manchester selling counterfeit jerseys. To Would you st All right, stop. That's enough. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Oma slam running. Oh, Boom. power slam. One, one two. two. Nope. Oklahoma power slam, whatever you want to call it. 
Dominican Republic slam. I don't really care. And now Reyes locking up Arkham. What kind of champion sells a counterfeit Seattle? Oh, would you, st would you stop? Look at the match. Focus That's on horrible. the match. That's Arkham getting pure. his arm twisted off. He sold a counterfeit jersey, and he thinks he's pure. We got 12 to 6 elbows. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Dropping some bones in the dojo. Walks in right there. Well, smart move by Reyes. Again, working on that arm, trying to keep body parts isolated, doing damage where he can. And again, Arkham's got nowhere to go. Well, he's locking, he's working on the arm for the Rudo stretch he likes to lock in, that modified Samoan chicken wing he does. And off the ropes, Tater's gonna hate. Did he just say Boom. Tater's gonna hate? Tater's gonna hate. Oh, One. Right, Tater's better. Almost tater tots, they're delicious with a little hot sauce and ketchup. I do love tater tots. See, you agree with me. On one the thing, cameraman Chance. loves tater tots. And hold on, Andreas Reyes got the power here. Well, trying to go for yeah. Rudo. Arkham blocking it. Maybe he is listening and watching a few uh, Samoan tapes here, trying to actually counter a few moves. And now returning, got him in, the, in a wrist lock and setting him up. Maybe trying to go for a vertical. And no, into the corner. Shoulder. He has still five to let go. Or on a DQ, he could lose the belt. Andreas Reyes fighting hard again, proving why he owns that belt. And, uh oh. <laughs> Setting him up. Picture. Coming in. No. Miss it. Oh, head oh. off the turn post. That'll scramble your eggs. And Arkham working hard himself, raking him back and forth with that sure. forearm. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I've been trying to teach this kid aggression. All right, yeah, the pure division's about pure. Oh, oh. They God. Were jumping, shining wizard right there. He is watching tapes. He might actually be listening, but I still told the kid to stay downstairs tonight. He's not ready. And hold to come on. Up here. Something we've seen before. Double knees to the mush. And what were they to? The mush. And Arkham going in again. <laughs> taking a page from Johnny Psycho's book. You ever going to tell us who's under that mask? One, no. two. I might have to show you soon, though. And now Andreas unfortunately locked in again, nowhere to go, oh. and even if he did, that rope ain't gonna crossface. help him. This is what this kid is, he's a young tap out submission kid right here, putting in a beautiful rehearsed cross face right here. And I love this rules just as much as you. It doesn't matter if he gets to the ropes or not. The roll up by Reyes too. Kick out right there. But there's where the pure division earns its stripes, so to speak. You get locked into that, you have to power out, reverse, you have to use your use head, your, your head, power. You. And both men trading All these blows. Here for him. He must have given a discount at oranges. Oh, would you stop? Depot. Off the ropes. Oh! Back kick. And hold on. Big kitchen sink. Oh, that sinking feeling. Oh, it's cutter. Short cutter right there. And one, two. That was no laughing matter, maybe a little uh, right there. I will admit, for a guy who evidently reads way too many Batman comics, he has been doing well, or at least trying to, since his introduction. A lot of skill. Young and hungry wants that title, and wow, spinning kick right there. The problem is, it's untapped potential. One. Kicks out at two. It's an untapped potential, Mr. Bishop. I don't know if Andreas Reyes has his way. No, and this is this stupid. Is stu don't get in the ref's face. If I'd been the ref, I would have slapped that mask right off his head. I would have agreed with you. And what? Okay. Trying to, I don't know. Giving way too much time. Trying to walk in the killing joke here. Oh, wait a minute. Re no, reversal. reversal. Roll Pick up. Right One, two, three. <laughs> When I say you're not ready, I just stay downstairs. Maybe you'll listen. Well, he just lost a title shot to the Puerto Rican champion. But there has to be a handshake at the end. Well, at least he got that part right. When I tell you to stay downstairs, you stay downstairs! Chad, Chad, sit down. Sit down. You're embarrassing yourself. He's embarrassing me. Sit down. He wants to be attached sit, to my name. Sit, and he wants to pull crap like this. Sit down.
trust me, after tonight's show... After tonight's show, nobody cares. You know, after hey, tonight's show, job, I want to invite Mr. O'Bannigan in 80 Proof News to follow me, and I'm going to have a little heart-to-heart -heart with Mr. Jonathan Arkham about his actions of late. Well, that's going to be tough, considering you don't have a heart, and he neither does he. Now for a few words. For the WWE Champion, Troy Rambo! Now you talk about a champion. You talk about a fighting champion. You talk about a man who has walked through hellfire and brimstone and still carrying that gold. Where's Gino? I don't see Gino. I am talking about our man, the good old boy, magnificence and motion. What you got? Yeah, that is a private communication between me and Mr. Uh, Garbo. Do you mind? Oh, there he is, our champion. And I am curious to see what he has on his mind. Thanks, Pete. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up to Pete. being the best. Woo! Yeah! I'm out here to tell you guys about history. I'm going to give you guys a history lesson. Somebody should have given me microphone lessons. I am one match away from making history. You heard that, Master Referee? You ever made history? You're going to make history tonight. I hope I'm no, I'm sorry, I tied the record. Last week, when I pinned Gino Diabetes in the middle of this ring, I tied the title defense record in a single reign as champion. Very, very true. I'm at 12. I'm talking about I beat guys like Captain Vincent Zarello. I beat guys like Rocco, Mass Ref, you were there. I beat Gino, I beat Chris Shady. Oh yeah, I beat Sage. Hell, I beat Todd Sopel. You know who that is? Yeah, it's because I made him famous. Woo! Tonight I'm here to offer an opportunity to anybody that I haven't beat already. That includes you, tough guy. Anybody downstairs wants to come out here and try me. You come on up here. First person to step foot in this ring, I'll give him a title shot right here on the spot. Wait, did he? Ecuador. Oh, well, wait a minute, hold on. That's I hear Bucks music, but this ain't this ain't the crew. What is? Who are these people? Uh, can I do this? Oh God. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. Fuck the Ross. Come on, nachos. 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 No, no, no. Well, Buck the Ross making it in, and I guess he's going to get the title shot, but what are the, all these mo monkeys going to do? Um, stand there and look pretty. Oh, you guys. Buck the Ross. Woo! <laughs> all right. Yeah, that freaking guy right there. I think you might have a shot. You ready to do this? Let's do this. Well, 
Buck to Ross getting a title shot? <laughs> Chaz, have I been drinking too hard again? Am I seeing this correctly? Um. <laughs> I guess we got a lumberjack match. And the no man's land has just become unholy ground. With what? We've got the cult, we've got international spot, we've got representation from ICP. Did you hear Ink Block got fired? He no longer works at 7 Eleven. He oh. works at Call Pass Call Center. I tried calling the other day. Oh, for the love. He's like, hello, do you have the green lights? First and foremost, I do not believe that Ink Block speaks. Secondly, shut up. Well, he does speak. I tried calling from Comcast. Well, here we go now. It's my internet Shut connection. up and follow a match there. As Buck to Ross working on the champion. And again, this is probably the highlight of his career. Getting this close years, to the big belt. But Buck to Ross has a WAW championship match. <laughs> and we got a, I think this might be the first time ever, a WAW championship lumberjack match. I'm not afraid of you, Reaper. You're a joke. Go watch some tapes. Good grief. Keep that thing away from me, Chaz. <laughs> you, you, but you disgust me. Troy, Troy Garbo now got the, the wrist lock, head working head into head a head side headlock. Buck reversing. Right into a headlock. Hey, hold on. Ecuador. Focus on the mat. Ecuador. Hey, Do we need to get you Ritalin? Yes. Seriously. What about him? He's cleaning during this lumberjack match. Sweeping performance, I might add. But guard, Troy Garbo fighting back. Buck, nope, doesn't get him off the ropes. That Still goes. working that side headlock. Clean my shoes. Suck your dick. Hey, hey, hey guys, Ch Chad. It's all right. No, I'm going to stop it. Call the match, Bishop. What are you doing? I'm trying to get you focused here, well, we Riddlin kid. We got a championship match, and you're talking about random stuff about call centers and crap. What's wrong with you? I sit next to you. That, that's a good reason to drink. Buck Ross and Troy Garbo. I'll show you why I'm the best in the business. Troy Garbo, Buck Ross on the tie-up right now. Working in the center of the ring with Mr. Bishop. This is for the WAW Championship. Buck yeah. Ross is first ever WAW Championship. You know, match. Chad, if you actually paid attention, I already covered all that. So why don't we keep moving what are you here? About? I covered that. You didn't um. cover the tie-up. Back to the tie-up. The green hair, gang green warrior, taking on the lengthy WAW Jedi, Buck Ross. Why is he a Jedi, Mr. Bishop? I don't know, because he uses force? He uses the forks. Whoa, hello, side headlock takedown. That's what she said. Two, Buck one tap, one count away from having the big belt. Two. Kick out again. Now again, having all these others on the outside means that these two men cannot get out there without work getting thrown back in. I can't believe I never noticed this before, but Chow was a girl. How did you not notice that? There's, a, the there's that. a couple of things about her that are hard to miss. I know, I was just looking at him. And Garbo going over. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, wait, Ecuador. International spot. Nachos is looking on. Hex doesn't know what to do. The champ is getting beat. And hold on, getting tossed back in like a sack of Idaho potatoes. And, potatoes. and oh no. The big leg drop on the champ. Oh, and wait a minute. No friends out there for you, Bucky. Buck to Ross, you, you kicked all these people with your crush before you came in. Why would you get in the ring? Chihara was trying to choke out Buck to Ross. Closest Buck's been to a woman for a little while. But hold on. Buck is a Back in the ring. Rex. Yeah, he's extinct. And oh, speaking of extinct, I think that that might have just put a little lot of little Buckies into the extinction agenda. But Buck's still working hard trying to get that. He wants that gold. I mean, think about it, Chaz. How close, how close has Buck been to gold ever? Very, actually. He almost was pure champion at one time. Almost only counts in horseshoes, hand grenades, and tactical nuclear weapons. I will slap you upside your head. Both and of get you. these, get, the get those two away. He's a four, five. Watch some tapes. And wait a minute. All on the outside, Troy And Garbo. he's gonna finish the count. Kitty, kitty, kitty. 
And that'll scramble your eggs and hold on, knocks him down and I think Garbo's about to... Troy Garbo in the wrong part of town. Whoa, wait a minute. Hold on, that's not... What are they doing? Well, what is Ecuador doing? Stop the Equ oh, wait a minute. Oh! Shot. Oh, wait, gets thrown up, catches. Back on the ropes. Shoulder block. And up, over, oh, and through. But Buck holding on for dear life here. Hey, not just bit of it's illegal. Two. That was the legal. But like I said, this is close as Buck's gotten to the big belt. Now he's not going to let this opportunity no, this move Ford away. His very first WAW oh, championship match. Big chop. Why would you let this championship slip away from you? Troy Garbo is bringing it to our champ. Excuse me. Buck Ross is bringing it to our champ, Troy Garbo. Well, Troy Garbo, though, has been through it all. Carnage, Rocco, Gino. Sorry, not Gino. No, Vincent Zarello. Gino. And hold on, Big Buck Deluxe, I think, coming up here. Here is number 13 on the menu down at the slope. So, wait a minute. One, two. A slurp and go. Slurp and gurp? It's a very nice, actually. Ecuador works there. Oh. I swear, only foreigners can work in these convenience stores. Never seen a white guy there. Unless Tra you go over there, then a white guy works there. It's very All right, trading blows in the center of the ring here. Bones! And bones. I got this one. Don't worry about it. Okay. No, no he punched nope. the bones. Wait a minute. Hard punch. No, blocks the hard punch. Ready to do the chicken wing. Chicken, no, gets reversed for the chicken. Buck to Ross, back on the outside. Uh, and in a bad part of town. Back inside goes Buck to Ross. Ready to turn around. Wait, chicken wing's locked in. Chicken there it is. is locked in, locked in Buck to Ross is in the chicken wing. The chicken wing. Oh, damn. Tamper man, turn around. Oh, mama. Oh, Tamper God, man, no. Turn Hold on. There's the former cult members. Double spear taking out everyone. Chihara runs away. Carnage going at it like an all you can eat buffet. This is what's going on. And he that's a. Now. Oh, God, no. Double spear. Oh, God. Oh, this one's going off the board. This is a no contest. No contest due to outside interference. Well, there's no winner, Buck, unfortunately. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Sets him up. Oh, oh God, no. Slam. No. Reverplex in the center of the ring. Oh, my champion. God. Come on. Go back to Mike And Garbo over the top rope, just leaving a wreckage on the, on the floor. The statement earlier, our number one contender just made one by not eliminating the champion, but what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight men along with them. That right there is our WAW number one contender for Hellbound. And Nacho's running like hell. It's probably the smartest thing he's ever done. Oh, wait a minute. That's not his yet. No, it is not. Hey, wait, wait a minute. What, what are you doing? I am here on commentary. Hey, hey. You're heading behind Matt Bishop for defense. Whoa. What the devil? No, that's not the devil. That's the dealer. I have only taken his fashion tips on the honky tonk. Man. Oh, he looks beautiful. Look at him. He looks absolutely beautiful. You look beautiful, sir. You got one right there. I've never seen dealer look that good. I've never seen Dealer look good, period. You messed up. Oh, whoa. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's our first WAW champion right there. I can see why he lost the belt. Well, he, one thing he didn't lose is boys. What's up, Garbo? Looks like Carney just kicked your ass, and I just kicked your ass, too. <laughs> Hellbound's gonna suck for you because uh, you're not gonna be in the main event in Hellbound. Jordy Deal's gonna be in the main event in Hellbound. I'll tell you what. What? All these idiots don't remember. 
Annihilation, most likely. I was on the winning team. Oh no. I know I look good. Still. So I know I look good. Got my haircut. Got my shirt. This is what shirts look like. All right. Goodwill don't sell these. Salvation Army don't sell these. Armani sells those. Next week, Garbo. I'm gonna cash in my title match. What? And have the balls to accept an I Quit match. Oh! Oh my God. Now it's gonna be Jerry Vila in Carnage. Ew. And Garbo, I don't know. Maybe you can uh, wash my shoes or shine my shoes. Enjoy that belt while it lasts. Next week, Dirty Dealer is going to be WWE Champion. Well, simply put, well, there it is. The D to the I to the R to the T to the Y. Dealer laying down the challenge for the main event next week. Troy Garbo has no choice but to accept the challenge. Dirty Dealer, Troy Garbo, WAW Championship, I quit match. Now that's the main event leading up to Hellbound. And I almost fear for Troy Garbo, but I'm going to hope that the champion, the fighting champion he is, will be able to rise to this challenge. You want to try Troy Garbo the champ? I quit match, I'll see you next week. You and your stupid for the haircut. You got the half price at Supercuts. With a coupon out of the hippo press. The cheap ass. Yard sale t-shirt. I'll see you next week. You should just quit now, Troy Garbo. You don't stand a chance against a dirty deal of the first WAW champion. <laughs>